Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. Astaxanthin is the fat-soluble carotenoid that gives marine life like crabs, lobsters, shrimp, and salmon their vibrant red color. You may already know about astaxanthin's unparalleled performance as an antioxidant, which is especially helpful for our eyes and skin. However, astaxanthin is also critical for our immune system in a variety of ways. First, as an antioxidant, astaxanthin is able to combat free radicals both inside and outside the membranes of our cells. Other well-known antioxidants like vitamin E can also do this, but astaxanthin is significantly more powerful. One of astaxanthin's most protective effects is its activation of NRF2, or nuclear factor erythroid 2, a major regulator of antioxidant activity. The activation of NRF2 consequently increases the activity of critical antioxidant enzymes like catalase and superoxide dismutase. Astaxanthin also significantly increases the count of T cells and B cells. These are both critical components of our immunity. Specifically, the B cells ingest and destroy bacteria and viruses, while T cells destroy cells damaged by viruses, while also remembering and recognizing previous invaders. As we know all too well, the efficiency of our immune system degrades precipitously as we get older, and this is why older people may benefit from regular intake of astaxanthin more than most. Astaxanthin is an activator for AMPK, or activated monophosphate protein kinase, our metabolic master switch that initiates autophagy, which itself is essential for cellular development and homeostasis. Astaxanthin activates AMPK primarily by inhibiting something called the mammalian target of rapamycin, or usually just mTOR. mTOR is a major regulator of cellular activity and metabolism when it functions normally, and when it doesn't, as is often seen in older individuals, abnormal mTOR activation is a factor in many age-related degenerative diseases. Again, regular consumption of astaxanthin inhibits excessive mTOR activity. Our white blood cells manufacture interferon in response to infection and disease. Consistent consumption of astaxanthin increases interferon production and also production of interleukin-2, which itself can increase the activity of other T cells and B cells. Are you beginning to see just how powerful astaxanthin can be when used in conjunction with your daily immune regimen? As a supplement, astaxanthin is available in dosages anywhere from 4 to 12 milligrams generally. 12 milligrams seems to be the most common basic dose, and you ideally want to get your astaxanthin in a soft gel and take it with a meal because, again, it is fat-soluble. Like digestive enzymes, astaxanthin is extremely sensitive to heat, so while you certainly don't need to refrigerate it, you really shouldn't keep it near any excessive heat. Astaxanthin is even effective at enhancing apoptosis, in which the body removes damaged or dysfunctional cells, and also in reducing established inflammatory components like cytokines and tumor necrosis factor alpha. While this is beneficial for anyone, it's especially helpful for those dealing with cancer. Specifically, astaxanthin inhibits the matrix metalloproteinase enzymes that ordinarily facilitate tumor cell growth and metastasis. The cells of our organs communicate via gap junction channels, which are structures which allow the coordination of metabolism and numerous other functions. As we age, like everything else, this intricate and precise system breaks down, and this degradation and consequential loss of cell communication opens the door for inflammation, cancer, and other metabolic disorders. Astaxanthin greatly enhances and maintains this gap junction communication, which can help over time to avoid such runaway inflammation. A less than ideal immune system has unfortunately been accepted as an unavoidable consequence of aging. If you're already taking a daily regimen of fat-soluble nutrients like vitamins A, E, D, K, and CoQ10, alongside a healthy, low-inflammatory diet and regular exercise, Try incorporating astaxanthin into this mix. The long-term inflammation reduction that astaxanthin provides can help you maintain a robust immunity for decades. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzymental. Stay healthy.